Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages Three Hearts Run. As you can see, I've died once. <laughs> welcome to Moonlit Grotto. The first real puzzle-y dungeon. Now that's one of those tricks where if I'd known about that the first time, this game would have been a lot easier. Hold on. Now the gimmick of this dungeon is that the main pillar, or the first floor is being blocked off by this thing. Destroy the four crystals to make that fall down to the bottom floor and provide access to the second half of the dungeon. Or the third, third one or two. The second, third? In any case, you're kind of stuck in this first part until you get that lowered. They can be broken by flying seeds. I think I want to go this way first. And now, this room. This way first. I wish I could get the bomb up right before coming here, but I can't get that until I'm on the way to <coughs> on the way to the fourth dungeon. And the fourth and final one is um, kind of this way. It's north of here.
Like likes. I hate like likes. Of course, I hate this room more. much. Just hold your shield up and let it run into your shield. Sure, that's just a gash of seed. We'll get it on the way back. The seed shooter. One of the more important items in the game. You need it when facing Varan's first form. Rupees, okay. We still want to go back around this way. Because I don't feel like going through the thing. And that is the first third of the dungeon. And we are actually completely done with the top four. but I got it. And mid-bar.
Really, you spawned over there. You can't move the blocks in this room until both enemies are gone. And you need that key to come around the other way. And you need to come around the other way... <laughs> ...to make this thing point in the right direction. but Now we can finish this place. All in all, it's not a bad dungeon, it's just that the entire third chapter is tedious. And now, Toho! And plot. Okay, the next dungeon is... excuse me. It's... I want to say it's on this tile. It's definitely up in this area. But we're not cutting it out just yet, because we have one more animal companion to meet. 
And it is Dimitri! Funniest thing in the world sometimes. We could technically get the Seed Satchel upgrade now, but I'm gonna hold off, because Gale Seeds are a little hard to come by. Oh crap, I screwed up a Maple Encounter. And as you can see, there is now a Flute for sale. So I'm going to cut it here. Because the next segment actually depends on which animal companion you have, and which animal companion you have depends entirely upon how you get the flute. Which means I'm going to be recording three different segments of the next part. Um, so yeah. Until next time, see you around.